Hi, everyone. Uh, because of some conversations that I've had with people, and uh, this has been going on for quite a while, really, for um, months, um, really years, for as long as I've been on BandHub, people have asked me about how I get the individual panels of a, um, of a collab, whether it's that I'm downloading or I'm getting the individual files from the cache, which, of course, I'm not. Uh, you can only get your own video files from that. Um, or if I'm, you know, opening it in studio and then re-recording it in order to get larger um, panels. And no, I'm not doing that either. All I'm doing is is getting the same video that um, anyone else gets. And of course, now I'm going to be sitting here. Okay, there it is. Um, I just go in here and click on that and download video. And that same video that I use, whether it's for this size, you know, this is one, two, three. Well, okay, so it's three, of course. One, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, technically nine as far as the size goes. It's nine, so, so nine times, it's 27. 27 total frame size, you know, three by nine. Um, whether it's this size or whether it's. Gosh, something as small as this one with only six. All right, so what I do is I'll go into After Effects. Again, this is a professional animation software. It's what I have used to make basically all of my BandHub videos, you know, with the little panels and stuff. And so I will import, um, let's see, there's John Denver one, and here's the Tramps. So we can see that, let me go in here and resize the, so as you can see, okay, it's skinny this way and long this way. So it's very tiny, you know, and um, as a matter of fact, if I go ahead and throw in the small one there, Grandma's Feather Bed, and bring that on top, it's now tiny too, whoops, but um, these are really small and of course there's nothing on either side and this is what people end up with when they just take the collab video and throw it into a 1920 by 1080 or you know some you know some HD video size you know with all black on one side and black on the other and then this tall thing here especially if you have a great big collab you know like this 27 frames and if you have 40 frames it gets even smaller you know so the way that I end up having everything filling the screen is for one thing going in here into the composition settings and changing it to 1920 by 1080 HD and well see what happens there now the frame is much bigger so how do we fix that well for one thing I'm not gonna leave and you know from my videos I don't leave um, it out like this everything gets framed up um, but as you can see they're all the same size inside here already without me doing any kind of work um, you can compare uh, Fred here with Chris and they're the same size this way and he's the same size as Stego Kitty down here uh, so they're all the same whether it's a tiny little uh, collab like this or a huge one like this uh, but what I do inside here is I'm going to uh, mask out what I want, you know, it, as each individual frame. I would first mask out this guy, and then, you know, let's let's mask out Ryan here. All right, so there's Ryan, and then I could do the same thing over here. Double click over here, double click on that, and I'm going to bring that. You always want to mask, usually when you put a mask on your face, you're, you know, covering up your face and showing another face. But when you're masking out, it's like using masking tape or something else, you know, a frame of some sort, and you're masking out what you don't want and keeping what you do want, which is Claire's face. Isn't that what everybody wants? 
There we go. All right, so we've got these two now that are basically the same size. I, you can see I didn't get it completely cleaned up over there, but that's something that you can do later on. Now I've got both of these here, and they're both the same size, but you know we still got all this space around here now. And so what I can do is go in and resize these. See, they're at 100% here in this little area. 100%. But I can probably bring them to about 250% and they're going to look better. Now Claire's got a clearer camera than Ryan's got, um, but they're still both the same size. And, you know, his looks a little bit blurrier. So so she's got a nice clean um, picture there and his, and his is a little bit fuzzy, but it's lighter and I can adjust that with something else too. But that's not what we're here for. We're here just to show as far as masking things out. Um, I can clean that up a little bit there because I'm, that's just how I am. Um, and then center that back. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. You know, that's, it's not a whole lot to that other than masking things out. And then, you know, I would use it to animate them and make them move around. And I can hide Claire with Ryan and reveal this way or whatever, you know. But, um... Yeah, that, that's how I do it. I'm not using some kind of a method to re-record the videos that are in larger estate. Um, but this is how you can do it if you have this program. I'm guessing that most of you are not going to have it. If you have, if you have the um, Creative Suite, then you do have access to um, After Effects. It's part of the Creative Suite. Um, and if you're an educator, Claire, uh, and or uh, like Jim Mitty Doctor. Um, you guys can get the entire suite for like $32 a month, something like that. Uh, everybody else would have to pay $50 a month, but educators can get it for like $30, $32, at least, you know, USA dollars um, a month. And, of course, it could be a tax write-off because you can claim it as part of your, you know, work tools or whatever. Because yeah, you're both music teachers, as far as, as, far as I understand. Um, and even if you weren't, you, there's so many different programs like Photoshop and Premiere Pro and things to make to design and things to make pamphlets with and to make books with and to make and to and make illustrations and photographs and movies and audio, all that kind of stuff. Every kind of creative thing you can imagine that you can do on a computer, you can do it with Creative Cloud. And I was not being paid to say that. I just think it's fantastic pr um, programs that they have. Anyway, that's what I've got. Hope I didn't bore you to tears. Have a good one.